Hi, my name is Teresa Fabrizio. I'm the Admission and Financial Aid Coordinator for the School of Social Work. Um, I'm probably spoken with many, many of you. So now comes a time where, um, as we talked about, it's time to make those decisions as to if you're planning on applying. So let's talk about what that process actually looks for the University of Pittsburgh School of Social Work. We have two deadlines. Our first deadline is December 31st. Um, I'm, I'm making it a day early so everybody makes it apparently. Um, <laughs> so our deadline, um, priority deadline is December 31st. So if you have a 3-3 grade point average or better in your undergraduate um, career, you are encouraged to get your application in before December 31st. I say before because you know I started January 9th like this year so um, I saw the residuals of that right um, so it, um, and we'll talk about what a complete application looks like but um, again if you get your application in before the priority deadline you're guaranteed with the 3-3 or better you're guaranteed admission and scholarship into our program it's a fantastic deal uh, the regular deadline is April 30th um, for the fall semester. So we're going to talk about what a complete application looks like. Our review process is completely online right now, so this is something that we're very um, excited about. So our application is online. It affords you the opportunity to really stay on top of all of the components. Um, you can take a break and go back and finish it up. Um, but our application consists of a personal statement. That's a three to five page personal statement. There are guidelines on there, um, on the website on how to write it, but again, it's, it's up to you, it's your statement. We also wanna see a resume. You live, what's your work history look like? Uh, there is a $40 application fee, and I saved these two components at the end because these are the ones that are the most difficult. This is a part where you're relying on other people for a lot of things. Um, so we do require three recommendations. What the system is going to do is you're going to input the names and the contact information of your three references. And our system is going to email them and say, fill out this real quick question questionnaire about uh, our prospective student. And then they can upload a supporting document if they choose. And you can actually log into our system to see who submitted on your behalf. Um, so again, these are professional references so or academic references, so we do want um, anybody who uh, knows you in those capacities, so a professor, a employer, uh, academic advisor. We're not going to have uncle or grandma write a letter. That's not going to cut it so much. We also need transcripts, and when we request transcripts um, from you, we need you to send us transcripts from all colleges and universities which you've attended. So if we see that there's transfer credits on there, I am going to um, put a little note on your account that says, you know what, we still do need these um, other transfer credits to uh, from the uh, institution of origin. So please send us all of that, and then once we get all of those components in, um, your application will be complete. And again, you'll be able to monitor. I do up um, notate when I get all the transcripts, so you'll be able to see everything online. Um, so again, as I said, with the transcripts, we do require um, all colleges and universities which you've attended. One of the other um, requirements that we do have for the program is the three credit course in statistics. Um, that's a um, requirement that we do um, enforce before you actually enroll, before you start classes. So if you don't have it now, if you're admitted into the program, that will be one of the provisions of your acceptance into our program is that you get that completed before fall 2013. There are two documents that you will be required to fill out at the beginning of the year if you, again, are accepted into our program. The first is the FAFSA form. Uh, you guys thought you got away from that now in grad school, sorry. Uh, FAFSA is um, uh, another component that tells financial aid who you are. Uh, but we'll also require the FAAS form. So when the time comes, this is a form that will uh, tell financial aid um, exactly what types of scholarships or awards you will be expecting. And you'll send that directly to me. It does gum up the process if it doesn't go down. A couple websites for you to take a look at, but all in all, folks, this is a really easy process. Um, we try to keep it as streamlined as possible. Give us about four to six weeks to review, um, typically on average. So, um, and if you ever have any questions, my contact information is all over the website.